Hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And today we have a film review for you today and we're talking a dark comedy thriller. Interesting one, this one today. Uh, directed by someone connected with Killing Eve. If you like Killing Eve, you might, you might sort of, uh, this might appeal to you. Today we're going to have a look at uh, Promising Young Woman. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button. Push the bell notifications and all these vlogs are coming out. I do TV drama reviews, these film reviews, information vlogs, uh, the odd quiz, poster, movie battles, etc, etc. So please check the playlists and uh, have, a, have a good look round. And you'll also, also notice some stuff on my football team as well, Manchester City. I do vlogs on City history and City presence, so all the stuff that's happening now. Plus quizzes on there as well. So if you or anyone you know might be interested in that, please point them in my direction. And there will be some links on the screen for my Facebook and Twitter accounts. If you want some followers or friends, just uh, connect up with me on there. I do check every couple of days and uh, follow and friend back. So... I post loads of stuff on there as well to do with films and TV and football. So uh, if you're after some extra followers and friends, I will reciprocate. Anyway, let's talk about this film today. Yeah, hour and 53 minutes. A US-based dark comedy thriller directed, written and produced by Emerald Fennell. Or Fennell in her feature directorial debut. As I said, she had some connection with writing some of the Killing Eve and producing some of the Killing Eve stuff. Uh, the film stars Carey Mulligan, uh, Bo Burnham, Alison Brie, Clancy Brown, Jennifer Coolidge, Laverne Cox and Connie Britton. And um, what's it about? Well, nothing in Cassie's life is what it appears to be. She's wickedly smart, tantalisingly cunning, and she's living a secret double life by night. Now, an unexpected encounter is about to give Cassie a chance to right the wrongs from the past. Uh, this has been released theatrically on Christmas Day in the United States. But it would have been an interesting Christmas Day watch this uh, by Focus Features. How's it doing? Well, as I'm, as I'm doing this, this is scores as at the... 1st of January PM, so these are all the scores, 1st of January 2021 uh, in the afternoon, so all these scores and ratings are as at that time. Rotten Tomatoes approval rating, so this is, uh, you know, positivity rating if you like, and 92%, that's pretty high isn't it, based on 221 uh, critical reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and it averages 7.9 out of 10, so almost 8 out of 10, which is not bad going. And of all the reviews of the 221, it's 203 fresh and just 18 rotten. So that's, uh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? The consensus of the site reads, A boldly provocative, timely thriller, Promising Young Woman is an auspicious feature debut for writer-director Emerald Fennell and a career highlight for Carey Mulligan. Uh, audience, yeah, Rotten Tomatoes, 117 have left a score, 93% positivity, so again, very, very good. So let's go on to a Metacritic, about Metacritic, obviously we like to do Metacritics, don't we? Uh, 71 out of 100, or 7.1 out of 10, whichever way you want to look at, that's based on 34 critics on the Metacritic site. 28 positive and 6 mixed, uh, no negatives at all, so that's good, and it scores anywhere between 6 out of 10. An 8.3 out of 10. The rap's Monica Castillo, she gave, it, she gave it 6 out of 10 and wrote, Thanks to Mulligan's electric performance and Fennell's pat script, the movie never feels as if it lags, but it doesn't go far enough to smooth over the choppy changes between the film's witty moments and its stomach-churning dramatic scenes. However, there's still a lot of promise in Fennell's film, both in its message, its rape-revenge-influenced riff, and the boundaries it wants to push. Uh, playlist Jason Bailey, give it 7.5 out of 10, he wrote There's no denying that Fennel is playing with dynamite here and knows it The brashness of her approach and style is welcome and her work is often righteously funny Especially when edging into darker territory And finally we'll have a look, Entertainment Weekly's Leah Greenblatt, 8.3 out of 10, she likes it A satire, women's first two acts are fun but broad A winky, wildly stylized slice of girl-powered revenge poem and Mulligan, who's always given smart, delicately shaped, shaded com performances in movies like Far From The Madding Crowd and An Education, uh, is an entirely different animal here. Furious, damaged, ferociously funny. And the audience, the audience on Metacritic, again, only 14 reviews left, but 6.5 out of 10, so still quite positive. Internet Movie Database, yeah, 2,485 reviews as I'm doing this have been left, and uh, not reviews, obviously there's a few written reviews, uh, well that's scores and reviews in total, and it's averaging 7.4 out of 10, so again, a very, very healthy score. 
Some of the comments, sensationally entertaining and very evocative of flashy, trashy, vintage Brian De Palma. Uh, someone else, it's stark tonal shifts and uneven plot structure might be distracting at times, but Emerald Fennell's promising young woman consistently offers a powerful portrayal of rape culture and sexual assault with a narrative full of surprises. Someone else, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, except say that this film crosses several genres and that I thought it was very creative and interesting. It reminded me a little of a simple favour, except not quite so dark. Some was all quite positive at the moment. Another, another view, solid dark revenge fantasy movie. Uh, another one, though the story is fresh, I still find it underwhelming. Maybe because I expected it to be this grand revolutionary masterpiece. But it's okay, not bad, but not that good either. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite as bad as that, but I am leaning towards, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm not believing some of the hype I'm reading. Young Woman was a good revenge thriller. An uneven feminist revenge parable. So that's the only real negative. There weren't many negatives about this, to be honest with you, in, in the written reviews. My little thoughts before I give you my score on this. Yeah, it is a bit of an up and down movie. Um, the final act sort of finishes on an up, so it sort of leaves a good taste in the mouth and it does make the film feel a little bit better overall, but say it doesn't quite hit the mark all the way through. Uh, the first scenes as well seem a little bit darker uh, than what we actually get to see during the film, so there's a sort of uh, really getting off to a, a sort of little gruesome start. Then it all gets a bit wishy-washy to be honest with you, but there's enough in it throughout to make this uh, a little worthwhile thriller. I was, I was reminded, and I read a couple of reviews who, who similarly like me were reminded of uh, Hard Candy, if you've watched Hard Candy, the film, I was a little bit reminded of that, but uh, this isn't quite up there with the shock factor of that one and uh, not quite as powerful and dark, even though this this one is, is quite dark in parts. It's, uh, yeah, it didn't quite hit, uh, hit me as hard as Hard Candy did when I first watched that. As I said, there's a lot of 10 out of 10 reviews, uh, which I'll just, I've just ignored as far as reading out to you. Uh, it's not that good, to be honest with you. It's not a ten, nowhere near a 10 out of 10 movie. But it is refreshing that it is a revenge thriller with a, with a subtle difference to the sort of bog-standard violent ones you seem to get these days. Very repetitive. This is a little bit tweaked a bit, a little bit clever, a little bit smarter. Uh, Mulligan. Mulligan has already commented by one of someone up there uh, before. He's brilliant. I mean, she makes she makes it for me as well. I mean, she's very very watchable. Um, so I did enjoy it from that point of view. Yeah, interesting. Uh, a change from the norm, if not spectacular as, as some would suggest. But uh, Fennel, yeah. I mean, I say I'm a big big fan of Killing Eve. Obviously, she had a few connections to some of the episodes of that. Uh, she does a good a good good enough job in her directorial debut. So no complaints there. Yeah. So my little score. Yeah, I'm not going to be miles out, but. Um, I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten because I say it, it say it's it's not totally unique. As I said, there's other bits and pieces, and it is a bit up and down. But all, overall, it was quite entertaining. And I've not seen a sort of film like it for a little while. You know, it's a little bit different to the norm. So I'm going to give it that. I'm going to give it uh, a six point five out of ten. Uh, yeah, the posters. I mean, you know, you've seen the posters as been as I've been doing this. Uh, yeah, the one with the lipstick on the mirror. And there's another one with a on sort of on a back with the legs in the air, isn't there? With the with the mouth. Um, yeah, they're all right. I think they're all right for Mulligan fans. I want, there's nothing nothing clever really, is there in them? So I'm only going to give the posters five out of ten. I'm going to give the movie uh, victory today in the movie versus the poster battle. So the film, the film. Uh, what have we got? A promising young woman. I'm going to give a film score of six point five out of ten, and for promising young woman, a poster score of just five out of ten. Anyway, if you get to watch this, let me know in the comments what you think. If you if you did enjoy it, just say it's uh, it's quite gritty in parts, but it's, it does have some dark humour as well, which which is a nice break. As in Killing Eve, it's a nice break, isn't it, from from some of the um, some of the graphicness you you get to see in it. Thanks for watching. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other until we meet here again, hopefully on the film and TV channel. Or you flip over to my football citizen channel. Until we do, please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.